So in this video, I'm going to be talking a little bit about this heavy-duty drill powered pump. It's a 650 gallon per hour. Uh, you can, it's from Pacific Hydrostar or Harbor Freight. The item number is 62145. Um, this one that I have, or the one they actually see, might be a different item number, which is not available anymore. But the new ones is the same design. It's blue now, and I'm not sure if it comes with all the hardware, but mine did come with some extra U-bolts um, to hold it down or to bolt it down to a piece of board. And also came with some nuts and a washer, a couple of washers. And it came with some extra blades for the pump inside, which is all plastic. The whole pump is plastic, basically, except for the fasteners that hold everything together, or the plastic pieces together. So, uh, this pump is 650 gallons per hour. You do need a really good 120 volt powered drill. Now, uh, the DeWalt that I'm using has a 3 8 chuck, so, I mean, it, it's more than enough. I tried using a, or my Black & Decker cordless drill, or battery-powered drill, and even though it's an 18 volt, uh, it just didn't have enough uh, spin to actually pump anything. Uh, I do have some video here, and you guys will be watching it as I'm talking. This is actually the first time that I'm using this. I was going to do a review on it. I was actually going to build something with this, but I ended up getting a flood in the shop, so I really didn't know what to do. And finally, I remembered that I did have this pump, and it seems to take a three-quarter inch hose. What I used was heater hose and the other part was from an old Maytag or an old school Maytag washer. To pump I would recommend using a strainer or a filter or some type of straining kit just so you don't get any crap into the pump which happened to mine but I mean I really needed to get that water evacuated so I really don't recommend <laughs> you do what I'm doing in the video so you can actually see on a bucket where it was full of flood water and they was able to take empty that bucket in less than a minute um, other than that that's all I have to say about this pump it came in handy when I really needed it and I want to thank you for watching this video and see you guys in the next one